Cars, one of the greatest inventions that give us our present day standard of living. The popularity of cars and vehicles alike has resulted in the increase in scrap tires and has caused serious problems on the global ecological environment. A solution is coming from Waterloo, Canada. Scrap tire rubber cannot be easily reused. So it has been used as tire derived fuel. Uh, for 50% of it goes as tire derived fuel. It produces a lower grade material, but on top of that, it also uses a lot of chemicals that is harmful to the environment. Professor Costas Sokanakis invented a process in which supercritical carbon dioxide is used to continuously devulcanize rubber in a twin screw extruder. The tire rubber devulcanization technology uses supercritical carbon dioxide so we can selectively break sulfur links. That way we retain the structure of the rubber and we keep the uh, value and the properties of the original material. The University of Waterloo founded Tyramer Inc. to commercialize the invention of Professor Tsokanakis to bring the circular economy to the tire industry through tire-to-tire -tire recycling, in which scrap tire rubber is devulcanized to produce tire-derived polymer, or TDP, for reuse in new tire manufacturing. When TDP is added to new tire compound, there is very often an improvement in two key performance indicators. One, reducing rolling resistance, less fuel is used for driving, and two, increasing abrasion resistance, tires can last longer. The production of TDP is a continuous automatic process. It takes only two minutes from tire crumb to TDP with a 99% conversion rate. It is environmentally friendly, pollution free, and energy saving. Climate change is a real threat to our continued growth and prosperity. Tyroma takes our social responsibility seriously. As part of the tire and rubber, industry value chain, we focus on two areas, sustainability and the circular economy. Sustainability begins with CO2 reduction. For the tire industry, using TDP to substitute for virgin rubber compound provides a 75% reduction in CO2. Just as important, we use no chemical solvents, softeners, oils, devulcanization agents, and activators in the production of TDP. This means TDP has exactly the same composition as tire rubber. TDP production is environmentally sustainable and it can eliminate the massive amount of chemical use in rubber reclaiming today. The goal of the circular economy is to reduce the consumption of natural resources. Use TDP will allow Thai producers to reduce the consumption of natural rubber, synthetic rubber, carbon black, and rubber processing chemicals. Thai produces TDP from local feedstock. This allows Thai producers to purchase TDP to further reduce logistics CO2. Because of this, TDP is truly clean tech. We collaborate with um, many different tire brands and we're developing new products for them. So we have to follow their uh, development strategies, trying to develop materials for uh, electric mobility vehicles. Uh, so R&D is very important, right, to develop new technologies. We also look at applications beyond tires. So for example, uh, this is a product that we have developed for automotive applications, for high value automotive applications. So this contains 50% of TDP, which means it has 50% recycled content. Um, we also look at other materials like EPDM. So this is an example of an EPDM material. EPDM is highly resistant material for roofing applications um, and many other applications, also for automotive applications. Um, we look at producing pellets, which is really can be either for tire products or EPDM products. And you can use this to mold different uh, final products like this. This is a small example. The earth 
is our permanent home. It should be our obligation to deal with waste. In this case, scrap tires, in a socially responsible and environmentally sustainable way. To build a sustainable future, we must all work together. For sustainability, tread lightly with Tyromer.